The Mississippi State Senate passed their Medicaid expansion plan this afternoon. They also managed to achieve a veto-proof majority in their vote as lawmakers are set to take the differing House and Senate plans to conference. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake has more on the measure and where we go from here. The Mississippi State Senate passed their Medicaid expansion plan Thursday afternoon. Their plan would cover an estimated 80,000 Mississippians aged 19 to 64, up to 100% of the federal poverty level, roughly $15,000 for one person. I've been on record as opposing Obamacare Medicaid expansion, and I'm still am. So when the lieutenant governor asked me to work on health care reform, I had a little heartache. This bill is not Obamacare expansion. This bill is a very responsible and conservative bill geared toward helping the working poor. The focus needed to be on people. We need to be focused on our, our the individuals that are in our state that are trying to make it by working. That's what this is about. And you heard it time after time after time. Now, some people want to go back and say this is about some president three terms ago and hopefully four terms ago. But it's not. It's about working people. Senate Democrats put their support behind the bill after offering multiple failed amendments on the floor. This bill was not perfect. We would love to see more individuals covered. We would love not to have hurdles or any restrictions on additional access to health care coverage. But we did not want to lose an opportunity to keep this vehicle alive as we work through this process. The bill passed by a vote of 36 to 16 meeting the crucial threshold needed for a veto-proof majority as Governor Reeves vows to ax any expansion legislation that reaches his desk. I've got the governor saying it's not conservative if we do this. I'm telling you from every doctor and every nurse they said, but Senator Wiggins, it's, it's the right thing to do. The House and Senate plans remain at odds for the time being, but lawmakers say they are hoping to hammer out a deal come conference weekend later in the legislative session. Reporting from the state capitol, Richard Lake, 12 News.